What's up guys, LF Carry here, and today we're going to overview all the new stuff coming to our favorite Destiny 2 with Beyond Light. November is finally here, after getting pushed back from its September 22nd release, Destiny 2's Beyond Light expansion is mere days away from launching. This expansion isn't just one of the most substantial updates to the game since Forsaken, it also kicks off a trilogy of expansions coming out between now and 2022. Naturally, with such a hefty add-on, you can expect all the usual goodies, including new activities to conquer, shiny loot to acquire, and deep lore secrets to unravel. In our previous video, we outlined all the cool stuff we'll be saying goodbye to come November 10th. Bungie will be retiring a bunch of Destiny 2 content into what it calls the Destiny Content Vault, and you can learn all about it if you click on the link in the description. In this video, we'll be giving you the full scoop of all the exciting new stuff that we'll get to experience, collect, and of course, shoot in the face once Beyond Light launches. We've got more Destiny 2 articles and content coming up, so be sure to stay tuned for all the juicy information. And now, let's get to the good part. Here's everything new Beyond Light will bring us. New Guardian subclasses and energy type is probably the most exciting news we've had since Guardian classes received their third subclass back when the Taken King expansion launched. These new subclasses, though, won't be making use of any of the energy types we currently have in the game. Beyond Light is going a step further by adding a fourth energy type to the game, called Stasis. This new energy type will enable Guardians to finally wield the darkness as their source of power. Stasis is ice-like energy that can be used to freeze and shatter foes. Of course, we won't be the only beings in the solar system making use of this new power. Throughout the trailers and promotional material of Beyond Light, we've seen glimpses of enemies wielding Stasis as well. As an addition to Destiny 2, Stasis is intriguing for a variety of reasons. For one, it'll surely enable new mechanics and abilities for both our Guardians and the foes we face. We should definitely expect that bosses in the new raids and strikes will make heavy use of Stasis as well. Naturally, there will also be a slew of freeze and slow effects that will surely shake up the Crucible meta and other PvP activities. This, of course, poses a significant risk in terms of balance, but we're hoping that Bungie will be monitoring and making adjustments accordingly. With new power comes the opportunity for new Guardian subclasses. With the arrival of Stasis and Beyond Light, each Guardian class will be receiving a darkness-infused subclass of its own. The Stasis subclass will also be further customizable through Aspects and Fragments, a new feature which we'll get into a bit later. As for now, let's have a quick look at what new additions the main classes will get. Shieldbinder Warlock Coming November 10th, Warlocks will finally be able to live the dream of looking like real spellcasters. The Shieldbinder subclass will use Winter's Wrath to equip a Stasis staff that fires projectiles that explode and freeze foes solid. As a Frosty Warlock, you'll also have access to Shatter Shockwave, which shatters all the helplessly frozen enemies nearby. Behemoth Titan Next up, the Titans. If you thought the days of Titans lunging headfirst into battle were over, then you've been gravely mistaken. The Behemoth subclass enables the mighty Titans to summon a Stasis Gauntlet. Once equipped, they can Shiver Strike to lunge forward with a powerful punch that explodes on impact, pushing back and slowing all nearby foes. Ground control enables them to pound the gauntlet into the ground, delivering tremors that create icicles on the ground and freeze enemies. Revenant Hunter And finally, the Hunters. Hunters have always had a ninja-like quality to them, and Beyond Light will allow them to go a step further. The Revenant subclass gives them access to a pair of Scythe Kamas with a lethal two-hit combo. The first blade strikes with Deadly Edge, a mighty stasis roar that shatters and freezes foes near its point of impact. The second strike, called Stasis Storm, summons, well, a storm of stasis that locks onto enemies, gradually damaging and slowing them until they're frozen solid. What do you think of these new subclasses? Which one will you be trying out first? Let us know in the comments. Now, let's move on to the new planetary body we'll be exploring in Beyond Light. Is 
time the truth presented itself to you. Darkness resides within, beckoning you. Europa. One of Jupiter's moons, Europa is a desolate wasteland covered in ice. Among its frozen landscapes and ridges lie a host of places to explore and secrets to uncover. A Braytec exoscience facility can be found in a zone called Cadmus Ridge. In the Eventide ruins lie the remains of a long-forgotten colony. By heading east towards an area called Asterion Abyss, you'll find Vex-created structures that appear to be rooted deep under the frozen Europa surface. Finally, there's a location known as the Beyond, where we'll likely be reunited with our old friend, the Stranger. Return to the Cosmodrome This one should hit close to home with the original Destiny veterans. The Cosmodrome is making a glorious comeback when Beyond Light launches in a few days. The place where Guardians used to begin their journey will be returning once again as a strong point for new players. In essence, the Cosmodrome will be home to a newly minted tutorial questline with Guardian and zoned vendor Sean Haw as the guy showing you the ropes. This remake of the old Destiny stomping ground won't be complete as we remember it. Three areas, namely the Divide, the Gateway, and the Rocket Yard, will be missing. This could all change, however, as three Cosmodrome-based strikes will be returning. For more on that, you can read our article, so don't forget to check the description. Now guys, let's move on to the new threat our Guardians will be dealing with. A fully loaded Destiny 2 expansion wouldn't be complete without a new set of baddies to take down. Those hoping for a brand new race may be a bit disappointed to find out that our next enemy is another fallen faction. That doesn't mean, however, that they haven't learned some new tricks. The next big villain we Guardians have to deal with is called Aramis, the Kel of a fallen faction based on Europa. From the trailers, she appears to be quite a big deal considering Varix calls upon our help to stop her from ascending. A former Baroness of the House of Wolves and current escape from the prison elders, Aramis wants revenge against the Traveler for seemingly abandoning her people several centuries ago. Following Aramis on her crusade are a host of fractured fallen from different houses, including the Devils, Wolves, and Dusk. They're united under the Kell of Darkness' promise of power by means of stasis energy. Even though our main baddies will once again be dregs and vandals, their newly acquired stasis powers are definitely going to give us a fresh challenge. So, what do you think of our upcoming foes? Are you excited or disappointed? Let us know your thoughts about this new fallen faction as we move on to the new activities in Beyond Light. Beneath the frozen surface of Europa lies the first new raid of the expansion, Deepstone Crypt. Lore-wise, this mysterious facility refers to a dream most Exos have as a part of a subroutine buried in their consciousness. For this raid, you'll need to be at least 1,230 power tall in order to take on the encounters. As with more recent raids, Contest Mode will lock you and your team at 20 power below each encounter for 24 hours. This is to ensure a fair race to World First. Beyond this information, not much else is known about Deepstone Crypt. It'll be opening its doors on November 21st. As said in our previous video, the Destiny Content Vault isn't just a place where our goodies get locked away from us. The idea behind it is to cycle content in and out of it. With Beyond Light, we'll be seeing this in action firsthand with some returning strikes, which are Will of Crota, Beyond Light Release, The Devil's Lair, Season 13, and Fallen Saber, Season 13. As for new strikes, there isn't much information. Outside of an unceremonious reveal through the Season of the Hunt roadmap, Bungie hasn't said much about them. We know for sure that we'll be getting at least one new strike called the Glassway. This will most likely be based on Europa, just like most of the new content. For Beyond Light, Bungie wants the Crucible to be streamlined a bit by removing some of the less played activities. We mentioned which we're leaving in our previous video on what's being retired to the Content Vault. In the new expansion, we'll have access to the usual suspects, which are Control, Elimination, Rumble, and Survival. To add to that, every week there will be a rotating playlist of either Clash, Mayhem, or Showdown. Iron Bomber and Trials of Osiris will both maintain their schedules with both returning monthly and weekly, respectively. 
This one gambit to rule them all will be leaning towards the prime rule set. It'll also come with tweaks to blockers and primevals to account for the lack of standard mode. Bungie also wants to put a greater emphasis on gathering moats, so we'll have to see how the tweaks play out. Returning after a few seasons is a new pursuit weapon, which guardians can work towards through an activity of their choosing. You'll start off by receiving a ritual weapon called Adored, a sniper rifle based on the sunsetted Beloved model from Banshee 44. He'll then give you a choice of which activity you want to use to work up towards the final form of Adored. Choose wisely though, as you can't switch it up. This is all we know about the new activities and changes to current ones. What are your thoughts? How do you feel about Gambit becoming a single activity? Share your thoughts in the comments. And we'll be moving into new features coming with Beyond Light. Obsession propelled her here. Just like with past expansions, Beyond Light will be introducing some cool new features to Destiny 2 come November 10th. One of the most exciting ones are dynamic storms on Europa. While this won't apply to the rest of the planets and zones, Europa will feature dynamic snowstorms. Weather changes have always been a thing in Destiny, albeit for aesthetic purposes. On Europa though, the effects of the weather run further than skin deep. The goal, according to Bungie, is to cement the idea that this new celestial body is a hostile place. One moment you'll be cruising in your sparrow with clear skies, and the next, a storm will be brewing until it erupts in a gale of vision-reducing winds and snow. It sure as hell sounds challenging, but since when are we Guardians afraid of a little challenge? Beyond Light will also improve the new player experience of Destiny 2. While the New Light experience introduced a way to get new players onboarded to the game, it was a rather thin and confusing affair. With Beyond Light, however, new players will spawn in the Cosmodrome, like they did in the good old days. Instead of heading to the tower though, they'll be greeted by the aforementioned Shaw Han. Through his questline, players will spend a bit of time in Old Russia learning the ropes before moving on to the tower. We mentioned aspects and fragments earlier on in this video. This feature will be exclusive to the Stasis subclasses for the time being, giving us an exciting way to customize our Guardians. Each subclass will be able to slot in two unique aspects that grant powerful enhancements to existing abilities. For instance, one aspect allows Shadebringer Warlock Rifts to freeze nearby enemies when activated, which is absolutely insane. Fragments, on the other hand, operate like gems in other RPGs. You can slot up to three of them in each of your aspects. These will grant more passive bonuses, such as more super energy for faster grenade cooldowns with every kill. While aspects will be unique for each subclass, fragments can be used across all the different Guardian classes. For more info on what's coming to Destiny 2 with Beyond Light, including the reduced install size and crossplay details, you can find it in our blog article. The link is in the description. Okay guys, these are all the big features coming with Beyond Light. Which are you looking forward to the most? How do you feel about aspects and fragments? Let us know in the comments while we move on to the most important bit. Do you guys know what it is? Any ideas? Alright, alright, we won't keep you guessing. We've saved the best for last. So here's what we know about exotics and gear coming with Beyond Light. Two of the most legendary exotic weapons will be making a return with the upcoming expansion. Hawkmoon, one of the most beloved hand cannons, is returning, in almost its full glory. It's been toned down so it doesn't just one-shot Guardians in the Crucible anymore. Bungie will be replacing the luck in the Chamber Perk with one less lethal. The fan favorite weapon will be maintaining some element of luck however, according to Luke Smith. The second exotic coming back is No Time to Explain, a classic pulse rifle. It's pretty fitting considering it was the upgraded version of the Stranger's weapon in the original Destiny. You can pick up this bad boy by pre-ordering the game with the Season of the Hunt Pass or the Deluxe Edition. Bungie has also shared some of the brand new exotic weapons and armor that'll be coming with Beyond Light. Let's start with the weapons. We've got Cloud Strike, a sniper rifle that summons a lightning bolt and has the potential to become a big fan favorite. Next we have the Lamed, a badass sword designed to take out shields. Then we have the Salvation's Grip, the first confirmed stasis grenade launcher that can freeze enemies. And that's it for the weapons. 
Now let's take a look at some of the exotic armor we'll be getting. First up, Mask of Bacris, an exotic hunter element that turns dodge into a mini teleport. Then we have Arthur's Embrace, a pair of exotic hunter gauntlets that add an additional bounce to throwing knives. Moving on to Warlocks, first we have Dawn Chorus, an exotic warlock helmet that enhances Dawnblade projectiles. Next, we've got Necrotic Grip, a pair of exotic warlock gauntlets that spread corruption when you punch enemies. And finally, let's talk about Titan Exotics. First, we've got Pancarius Scars, an exotic Titan helmet that gives them an overshield aura when they revive allies. Then, there's Icefall Mantle, a pair of exotic Titan gauntlets that turn the barricade into an overshield. One by one, we will rise again. Well, this is everything we know that's coming to Beyond Light in just a few days' time. What do you think of the additions? Do they outweigh all the stuff that's retiring in the Destiny Content Vault? Let us know your thoughts. And that's a wrap from us, guys. LF Carry is as excited as you are to dive into the next chapter in the Destiny 2 universe come November 10th. If you're finding all of this overwhelming, we're here to help you out. Our expert Destiny 2 players can help you get up to speed in no time. So join us as we take on this next adventure together. Hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be the first to know when we drop the next one. Thank you for watching LF Carry and stay safe. You are not special. The darkness is mine!